Hey peeps, it's Jess Hill Dessert Geek, and if you can't tell by the wine grapes over there, I am at Chateau Saint Michel for the winemaker's picnic. I hope I have that right. I'll put the right stuff down below. Either way, this is something that I'm mainly here because I fell in love with the menu, and that's just near and dear to my heart. Yes, I like the dessert menu, but actually this one, I'm here for the steak. Everything is berry themed from steak to donuts, and I'm gonna try and eat everything because I have to give you, the viewers, my audience, the best possible experience. And so do I. Let's eat. That was the Auction of Washington Wines Winemaker Picnic and Barrel Auction. Yes, I, that, that's a long name. Before I get into the cool stuff and what I thought of the event, I want to cover something that I got emailed after the event. So get this. The picnic I went to is actually part of a series of events that happened that weekend with the goal of raising money for a bunch of good causes. And so it turns out that they raised 4.19 million dollars for two causes, Seattle Children's Hospital and Wazoo's wine program, which is really called the Washington State University's Viticulture and Enology Program. Fancy. Which, that's freaking awesome. I mean, I'm really glad to see places where not only are we helping the 
people starting out their lives, but also people trying to figure out how to make systems work. Especially with wine, there's a lot of really interesting stuff with fungus going on right now. I, I think it's cool, so neat. Let's talk about the event itself. Now we've talked about the cool part that was happening that I was not as focused on as I was focused on. Eaten. What I noticed was that compared to Taste Washington, which I always feel like people are really rushing it, this was a far more relaxed event. Like I felt like you could just explore the grounds and taste things and you just sort of wander with your wine glass and just had a bite. It was good. And it, this relaxed atmosphere was really awesome because you could just relax and enjoy a glass or two and then have some food. I also liked how many water stations there were. Hydration is important, especially when it's that hot out. Apparently it was actually colder than last year, which, oh my goodness, if that was colder, ugh. It was really hot. There were like fans going off so people could cool down and not my jam. But it was also really lighthearted. Like we had this ring toss going on and little lawn games. It was, and also, there was a thing you could do where you could stab a balloon to get a marshmallow. I mean, that's that's really cool. And actually, a thing that I didn't get to mention earlier is that was really cool is that the desserts were inspired by kids at Seattle Children's. So they had posters on the wall, which were the inspirations, and the chefs from Tulalip took them and made things happen. And I thought that was really cool. I'm also hoping that the kids got to try all of them except the alcoholic chocolate milk. The food, which is what you want me to talk about, was really fun and lighthearted and good sized bites. Like I feel like I could wander and get what I wanted. My favorite dessert was definitely those dang donuts, which surprised me because they had cardamom in there. And cardamom is kind of an eh spice for me. It's not one I'm usually a big fan of. And yet this worked. I think because it was a light cardamom, so it was kind of just like spiced and light. And then you had the berry sauce and the fresh berries for that tang. And yeah, it, I could have just sat there with a big bowl of those donut holes and been happy. I'm doing good. So would I recommend going to the Auction of Washington Wines Winemaker Picnic, which I'm never going to get that title right. Yes. Again, if you're someone who's already thinking of going to Taste Washington or that kind of event and you want a more lighthearted experience on a hill where you can go and check out some stuff, because it's a bit of a light hill, I feel like if you're in an assisted wheelchair it could be a bit hard to cover, but you know, I could walk it and I was doing okay. One thing I wish we'd had more time for would have been to explore the grounds, which I don't know if they did more later. I did leave early because I was exhausted, but they have all these neat experimental vineyards and they have a wildlife habitat and gardens, and I really would have liked some time to explore them as part of the experience. And I'm not sure if that would have been even possible, but you know, fingers crossed. So yeah, that is the picnic. If you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear from you and hit that like button if you'd like more of this kind of festival video-ness. As always, I'm Jess Elzerkeek, hoping that you get to go and eat all things, especially the donuts.